Howdy, all of thee who listen to the Fairly Podcast. I am Guy Using Stupid Gibberish, a.k.a. Duke. I am the real Manos, who does not know what to do with this bit, so therefore he just introduces himself normally. You are now all aware of what the hell's going on, even though we aren't. Yes. Sorry, I, I, I just thought, I just, that just came to me a millisecond before I clicked the button. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you people might have noticed something was off last week. I didn't post comic news. <laughs> I posted reviews, weirdly enough. Well, good. Yeah, uh, reviews I made back in February because I put them on a flash drive and misplaced said flash drive for months. <laughs> and then I eventually found it in a along with some weird-ass songs that a friend of mine downloaded that I meant to send to her. Huh. She, she does, and I asked, do you want these back? She's like, no, that all sucks. Like, you're the one who used my... Whatever. That was, that's a weird tale, but that still confuses me. But, yeah, um, we're back. Woo! Yeah, her, yeah. And, um, let's see, uh, it's safe to say some major things happened while we were gone yeah let's see i got a new t-shirt yeah oh, oh and some movie about people came out but also free comic book day yeah what, what's this t-shirt that you got it's an awesome joker t-shirt Ooh, cool those are good shirts and i'm gonna have let me write a note down put this in video <laughs> i gotta go now get a camera and take a picture because everyone will want to know, but, uh, yeah, I got a cool t-shirt, but free comic book day! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Let's, let's try it! Um, yeah! Yes, yes, every first Saturday of May, we, most of us, united our comic book stores to wait in the long line and get free comic books. It's a really simple thing. Um, I had a fun-ass time at free comic book day. I uh, did too. Yes, uh, mine was um, st- standard fare. Uh, there was a line that took up like the whole front of the block uh, because the, my comic shop's at the corner of one. And also, uh, three guys dressed up like stormtroopers in 97-degree yeah. weather and just like walked around the line and took pictures. I I felt like we should have we all should have came together and like gotten a little potluck or put some money in a hat and give it to those guys because wow that's commitment. <laughs> yeah, I know they were uh, they could have like handed out flyers for their band. They could have. Um, I'm like no, I didn't. I was almost considering wearing like a dark blue T-shirt that day and said no, I would sweat to death. These guys wore black uni- black unitards and plastic armor and helmets and. Hmm. I I, you know, I was thinking like you know if I was homeless it would be great if I had like a stormtrooper costume. Then I could like hang out at like stoplights with signs that you know say lost job. <laughs> lost job because of Ewoks. <laughs> I thought I thought you lost your job because um, Death Star blew up, but I guess there's many jobs. Well, the Ewoks were involved. Okay, fine, you have me. They didn't. They didn't help the situation. <laughs> Damn unhelpful Ewoks! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you not assist us <laughs> in our destroying of your forest? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that was that was fun. And and the other thing is those guys, because there were kids around would, like, sneak away to take their helmets off and, like, breathe. They didn't want to ruin the illusion for the kids. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm like... Because they I, don't look like Boba Fett. I know. <laughs> we don't want to ruin that at all. But no, no, like, because I'm just imagining this sad vision of a guy just like, I'm on my break, kid, with a helmet in his hand, smoking a cigarette, 
which I saw one of them do, which I was half tempted to take a picture of that. But again, I respected those guys too much to just, you know, dis- to do something that mean. Yeah, you don't want to destroy the illusion that they're stormtroopers of an evil regime. I I know, but like I I just found it funny. Like, wow, this is what the the Republic did on their off time. Yeah. I well, I mean, the Death Star w- was smoke free. <laughs> Someone, I'm, now I'm just imagining a bunch of stormtroopers in the in the like a in a bathroom like in high school with mm-hmm. a window with like some sort of window open. Well, they'd have to go to the airlock and like hang out on ropes and smoke. Wow, it, it sucks. It does. We have now given you the true pain of being a stormtrooper. You can't smoke anywhere on duty. How was your comic your free comic day? Uh, it was fun. You know, normally I don't get to do comic book day, uh, free comic book day, because I always forget to last minute, and I have to work, because it's always Saturday, and I have to ask off a month in advance at my job, which mm-hmm. is always a fucking bitch, because uh, <laughs> I don't always know what I'm doing, like, a month and a half, month away. Understood, um, understood. So it's so, it's so annoying, but this time, I, um was invited by uh, Jerry, the owner of uh, Trilogy Comics in uh, Virginia Beach, to do a signing of uh, Red Knight. And that was lots of fun. I uh, put up a table, and I had all three copy, all three issues of uh, Red Knight to uh, sell and uh, sign. And I also had a, a little uh, portfolio of pages from issue four. Ooh. I know, yeah, it was cool. And buttons, and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I had a lot of people kind of excited about it. What, what's cool is since the comic takes place in the local area, that kind of gets comic fans a little excited, uh, which is a lot of fun. And yeah, I, uh, I was there for like half the day, and I was hanging out with Bill Moss, who uh, is a, another local creator who created, uh, he used to do Zen the Intergalactic Ninja, and uh, Nira X, which is his own creation. And uh, he's occasionally doing short uh, pieces for zombies versus cheerleaders. And uh, and uh, Vince White, who does uh, Willpower, he was there too. So, yeah, it was really fun. I, I, I really like getting the word out uh, about the comic, and that's, that's the best way. And this is the first kind of event I've done. I'm actually planning to do some events uh, uh, this year with Red Knight. And actually, do you mind if I uh, say this right here? This will be like this will be Red Knight news. Go for it. Okay, I uh, I got the word back from uh, Baltimore Comic Con that I have a table in the Artist Alley. Nice. So I will be at Baltimore Comic Con uh, signing and selling copies of Red Knight. So if you don't feel like ordering online, <laughs> travel can... all the way to Baltimore. Yes, if you live near Baltimore, go. And I will have. Uh, that's going to be in September, so I will have uh, four issues out at that time. Yes. I will not be there, though. We could manufacture a Duke puppet. You will have to do that. Okay, it'll take me five years. Okay. Well, you better get started And it'll now. still look like I made it in five minutes. <laughs> it'll look, still look like it was shot out of a cannon. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to send it to you? into a pack of wolverines <laughs> what do you mean you don't live anywhere near there <laughs> you're telling me that you have a somewhat rational fear of being attacked by wolverines the yes. devil you say yes uh i may do another big con this year i haven't gotten total word back but i'm trying to do a, a couple of big comic cons this year so you may see me at some of these. Yes. Shake his hand. Say hi. He's a nice person, I swear. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty nice. Well, as long as you guys don't listen to deleted scenes, I have to cut out it at the end of every show where he just yells at me. <laughs> I mean, no, no, you're, you're, you're a stand-up guy. Save me. <laughs> uh, well... That's the beginning of our fun. So, hey, Manos. Yeah. You didn't happen to see a movie uh, this past weekend, right? 
No, I didn't. Uh, I just made up those reviews. I did. Yeah, the movie never happened. We were all just given scripts. It was uh, it was what we just imagined would be the film on screen. It was a shared illusion. Yes, um, it was it was still great though. Um, okay, let's end the joke here. Avengers was a giant success. <laughs> yes, I'll leave the one guy who's surprised by that to. I'll give him a moment. Okay, yeah, <laughs> are you even surprised? Let's see here. Let's. I don't. I don't know how up to date this article I'm using is, but because it constantly makes money, so it's probably already. <laughs> that's that's literally my defense. Within uh, overseas, it made five hundred million dollars in only two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they won. Yes. And, and it did two hundred million here. In the first weekend. That's incredible. That is very... I'm deeply impressed. And I'm very happy uh, because I like... Well, I love I love the Avengers, and I love comic books, and I love comic book movies, and I love this cast, and I love Josh Whedon, and I'm very happy, and I love this movie. <laughs> and I'm very happy it's done this well. And I love this movie. <laughs> yes. The movie's good, too. I, I will copy and paste everything you just said. <laughs> uh, that's the thing, like, because someone once wanted me to do a review, and my reply was, just look at any other positive reaction. It's the same. I have nothing to add. It oh. was amazing. I have never had more fun in a movie in such a long time. Yeah, isn't that great? It, it was really wonderful. I, I saw it with a crowd, and the crowd just fucking... Soaked it up and went nuts with it. Oh yes, and uh, it that's fun. I I love I love having a, uh, a moment like that with uh, film goers. And it's justified. Like I've been to I've been to Transformers too, and people yeah. were laughing and I was cringing. So I'm glad to be in the same vote as everyone for a change <laughs> <laughs> on a big successful movie. Yeah, and I was making this point in. Um, and I've heard a couple of other people make this point that, you know, this is the kind of stuff they try to do, you know, especially Michael Bay. Michael Bay tries to do movies like this. Yes. Because, you know, I get the feeling what he wants to do, but he's not talented enough to do it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Josh, Josh Whedon is talented enough. So, I mean, holy crap. What a, oh, I don't think there was one moment wasted in this movie. Not at all. I don't, I don't feel like anything was, like, too long. I mean, this movie could have kept going. I don't care. Release an extended edition, Marvel. Like yeah. an hour longer. We'll still yeah. probably love it. What do you think uh, are going to be the ramifications of this? Uh, good question. Because obviously we're going to get, like, <laughs> you know, our, our Iron Man 3, Captain America 2, Thor 2. Probably. Those are already planned based on yeah. the success of their movies. Hulk They're two. definitely still going to What? Yeah, Hulk yeah. Dude actually got some, because like a week before it came out, they were saying there's probably not going to be an, an Incredible Hulk 2. And then like a millisecond after the movie premiered, it said, we're considering it again. <laughs> and I don't blame them, because Ruffalo was awesome. And, and he had, I think he had more pressure than anyone, because he was the third person to play this character in a movie in a decade. Yeah, no kidding. Pressure is on. Maybe Ruffalo had this attitude like, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just do this. I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> My version of Bruce Banner is going to play a saxophone at the end of all of his theories. It's going to be great. <laughs> well, I think it also helped the fact that he wasn't the main attraction to the film. I mean, he was a part of a, uh, an ensemble, so yeah, uh, that helped a lot. And, uh, oh man, I just... I, I want to see this maybe a couple more times, actually. I'm, I might, too, because I don't usually see movies, even movies I love in the theater, more than once. I did with Iron Man 2, but that was a giant accident. Yeah, I used to, but, you know, life kind of just kind of gets in the way. So sometimes I'm just happy that I can see a movie I love once in the yeah, theaters. Totally. And just everything. The like, beginning was great. The... Both post-credit scenes, 
<laughs> had yes. me happier than it. Oh, God, God. I need to mention my... And I mentioned this because I did a uh, review at Deadpoolzilla, but I mentioned it there. But I'm going to mention it here again. I had a somewhat embarrassing, vulnerable moment of geekdom. Yeah. I like to think I can keep... I don't geek out too much. The worst I do is wear a t-shirt, with, like a comic book t-shirt out in public. I try to be as... What's the word? Professional and calm about it. As sure. soon as I got to the first post credit scene, I literally said out loud, yes. <laughs> and then after it was over, three people sitting around me asked, who was that? What, what, was, what even was that? <laughs> and then I'm just with a giant smirk on my face, like, I'll, I'll answer you in a minute. Just let me have this. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. I don't. We're still aiming to do a little conversation, like, aside from the sh- main show to talk about it, so we'll mention it there. With spoilers, if, if no one else minds. Yeah. Well, I'll, I think a lot I'll of... i per- spoilers everywhere and an alarm sound. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people have heard, you know, what's going on with those. Um, but, I mean, without really saying specifically, uh, I had to say I love, love, love the the very last moment after the complete- Oh, yes. Oh, and, and you know what? I'm going to use that to kind of transition into something on this same article. Yeah. Sales skyrocketed for Sharimas or whatever it's pronounced as. <laughs> Skyrocket, like, went up 80%. Oh, that is so hilarious. That is, because it was so funny, because, you know, after all we've seen them go through this entire film where everything is like drama, drama, end of the world, action, you know, battle, 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 you know, big explosion kind of crazy shit, and especially the last 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. And just in that scene was just, oh, that was, whoever thought of that was genius. It, and, it was, and you got to give them credit because that scene was literally shot a few weeks ago. Yeah. And you could tell because uh, Chris Evans is covering up his face because he had a full beard. Yeah. But still, oh, God, I, uh, everyone laughed at that. Like, to, to be fair, people in my theater, like, lost it a good four times, I can, I think. Mm-hmm. So much that they, we literally, like, missed out on possibly important dialogue. We were laughing so hard. Yeah. Uh, this, oh, we we did everything, and I... And I've said this before, I'll say it again, Dark Knight Rises has some competition for me personally. That's right, it's not just Dark Knight Summer. And and especially since, because I remember when Iron Man came out, and I loved it, but after we saw it, I said, oh, I love that, but Dark Knight's still probably going to be better. After Avengers, I said, yeah, look out. You may not be my personal... Fa- I'm, I, I still think it's going to be great, No, no questions, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to Spider-Man and uh, Dark Knight Rises. I think they're both going to be awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, this was pretty exciting, crazy cool. And it is it is kind of the superhero film I wanted to see. And uh, uh, it stayed away from a lot of cliches. I mean, it was, you know, a lot of, like, comic book films seem like they're kind of working off the same script and same plots. And the same stereotypes. And this was its own thing. This really did feel like I was watching a a comic book story. That uh, happened to be made screen. into a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And because um, it really it really did stay away from a lot of the cliche stuff you see in these films. Like there was not one boardroom scene <laughs> where one guy said, oh, I don't want to do, <laughs> I don't want to do the secret plan and then gets killed. No, so so I'm going to have to put that into a, a movie I make someday. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It, it's just randomly there. It's like a comedy, and we have a dead serious boardroom scene. Yeah, and then it yeah it didn't happen. It's like great. Oh my god! Any movie that any comic book movie that doesn't have that kind of scene is, is good. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> though to be fair, I love to. I love when I finally can point it out when I'm watching a movie now, thanks to you. <laughs> Because you're the one who, who brought it to my attention long, a long time ago. And I laugh every time I notice it's there. Yes. 
It's in the Phantom. It's in. <laughs> and I also just imagine you as one of the quiet guys, just going, eh, "Okay, that guy's gonna die." Yeah, I mean, just drink my coffee and look at my file. <laughs> oh man! So, hey, there are other movies too. We were just talking about Dark Knight and uh, Spider Man. What's going on? Well, teasers were announced in Junk. They both look great. I, I don't know. Like the thing is, it's just I was almost hesitant to mention the trailers, but I figured we might as well do it because someone would yell at me for it. Um, yeah. My reaction, my, my opinion, is still the same. I'm looking forward to both of them on for both Rises and Amazing Spider-Man. In case someone thought we were talking about Madagascar three or something, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> it, it comes out on my birthday. That still angers me. <laughs> I can still go see Prometheus as long as my theater doesn't only have it in 3D. Oh, I'm sure they will. I mean, no, sure they- no, no, because um, uh, for months now, Ridley Scott basically was throwing conniption fix about how he's going to be pissed if they show it in 2D because... and. He was just like, no, no, you're not going to feel the full experience if you don't see it in 3D, and I only want it shown in 3D. Oh, my God. Get the full experience of my ass. Yeah, uh, okay, here's a problem. I have poor eyesight, asshole. (laughs) And 3D doesn't work as well for me anyway. In fact, it works about the same. I've only been to, like, two 3D movies. Yeah. And I, I... Someone... I don't even know if it's just the 3D's crap or not, but my eyes couldn't distinguish, you know, the three dimensions that goddamn well. Mm-hmm. And that's just because I have somewhat poorer vision. So, yeah, I don't give a shit about the people who think, oh, yeah, it's in 3D. A, you're overcharging. And mm-hmm. I, to be fair, I get this way when people brag about how freaking awesome it is to own a Blu-ray player. <laughs> I just hate that. Like, boo-hoo, you can still watch the damn movie. Who cares if you can't see into the character's pores? Yeah. Just watch the damn movie and experience the story, you fucking prick. Ah. Oh. Well said. I fucking hate the attitude of people with Blu-ray players. Fucking hate it. I mean, I've seen... Uh, I don't want to say his name, but... Uh, I saw this guy, uh, Twitter, uh, he doesn't even understand why people even buy DVDs anymore. Well, Fuck that's... you. Yeah. There's still goddamn relevant. I, uh... I know, it's not like you're talking about eight tracks. It's fucking, you know, something that ev- everybody has. Damn Eat you, shit. your vinyl records. That's right. Eat shit person I won't call out publicly. <laughs> And now there's probably someone who might accidentally think it's them, but who cares? Oh well, it, I don't know. Let the fear in your heart. If he hears, if 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 he if he hears this and figures out it's him, it's like you know what? Uh, I'm just being um, nice. Yeah, I. I is this this nicer? Is, I don't know. It's, it's nicer than the deleted scenes, Manos. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I'm so glad I got that off my chest for some reason. I don't get to yell like that that much. Um, yeah, I will say one thing about Dark Knight Rises. It's good to hear a clear version of Bane. Because <laughs> you know what didn't help? You know what doesn't help when I'm watching a crappy uh, version of the trailer taken off of someone's iPhone? Yeah. Oh. You can barely already hear the voice of some characters if you were there. Like you I know- did with Bane at first. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> no, I I would have you know I I'm a big defender on uh, some of the things uh, about Dark Knight, but I seriously would have been very pissed off if, if he sounded like that the entire. If he sounded like that, because <laughs> you know I, I I would have to ask like, what the fuck is with Chris Nolan and voices? <laughs> it sounds cooler. Yeah, I mean, it gets every, it, it, Yeah, it sounds so cool that I don't know what he's saying. That's awesome. Uh, and then there are some people who will probably defend it as, Don't you get it? He's trying to say something. No, he's annoying me. Yeah, well, yeah, I get he's trying to say something. Well, uh. <laughs> yeah, that too. Is like, like, they're meaning like, oh, it's, it's, it's beyond being able to actually understand it. Like, I hate... No. 
Yeah, let, let, why don't we just hold the whole movie in, in a disco where we can't hear anything? <laughs> With a bunch of, like, loud uh, blonde girls screaming, Oh my god, I love this da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be a great movie. That'll be the greatest movie ever made. If you, know, you hate things. You know, it's funny. David Lynch actually did a film uh, where there was a scene in a loud club. Mm-hmm. And once they entered the scene... Uh, once they entered the club, they started doing subtitles. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought that was really funny. Oh, God, that's great. I remember, I, what was it? I was watching Skins on BBC America. Yeah. And everyone on that show had such thick British accents that they literally had to put a disclaimer stating, well, the British language is beautiful. It is sometimes hard to understand. So parts of this show have been subtitled. <laughs> You know, they do that on some shows, uh, and it always pisses me off when I can understand what they're saying. Me too, but again, I'm Have you ever had that moment? It's like, well, I know what that guy's saying. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like, well, they can't hear part of the conversation. Let's subtitle all of it. I don't know. I just think it's insulting when I can hear what they're saying. Now, when I can understand what they're saying, okay, but it's like, you know, I have half a brain, so I can hear that. I understand that. <laughs> Yeah, and and, 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 I, and I will say this. I actually like to put the subtitles on the movies if I have the chance, just in case I miss something, because I have a bad attention span. Not being able to hear it up front really screws me up. Hmm. So, hey, you know, I just thought of something. Maybe it'd be a great way to learn French by putting the subtitles on a movie I watch. Maybe. It's like, oh, okay, I've seen this movie 80,000 times. Let's see. Let's see what French language does with it. We need to choose the most, like... Ridiculous movie to learn with French, though. Um, Porky's? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Porky's. Por- and then you yes. can brag about that to people when you're in France. <laughs> I learned it from Porky's. And, and, yeah, and then, yeah, then, like, the stuffy guy will, Oh, Porky's! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that seed great? <laughs> <laughs> When she grabbed his dick. (laughs) Here's the thing. I'm convinced there's a lot of French cinema like that. So I'm just, so I'm just imagining that's more of a common thing you'll hear from someone in France. Oh God, you broke me. We're barely 27 minutes in and you've broken me, you bastard. Oh, man, 27 minutes. I usually do better. Oh, uh. I know. Ugh. I Let's know. Move on. We will, but first. Ah, uh, so, trailers, and let's see. What do we have next on the on the docket Mark here? Mark Wade's Thrill Bent. Yes, uh, this is a few weeks old, but hey, I figured I'd mention it. Mark Wade launched his own digital comics label. Yeah! Damn right. Yeah, which made me think of, wow, I don't do much with my life. That guy launched his own digital comics label. What did I do? I ate ramen noodles that day. I know. He does that, and he also writes the best comic book ever, Daredevil. Yeah, and he's written some of my favorite stories of all time, too. So, uh, Mark Wade, you just win, I guess, on Comic yep. News. We'll send you your plaque in the mail. Yeah, fine, Mark Wade. Just be better than everybody else. Yeah, Mark Wade, jerk. <laughs> We love you. You're a jerk. Yeah, how dare you be more talented and better than us? <laughs> Keep writing Daredevil, you magnificent bastard. Um, yes, yes, please never leave. <laughs> never leave. Um, yeah, um, not much to say, but it's cool. The man can uh, do anything. You know what Throwbent's about? Throwbent is, um, well, here's the thing. It's the name of the label. He's launching... Let's see here. Because the name of the website, thrillbent.com. Oh, okay. His first project is called Insufferable, which uh, right. I don't know if it... I'm not sure if it has anything to do with Irredeemable, but it does feature the artist who started the book with him on it. And that's... A, it's still kind of starting. It's, it only has a few things on it right now. The first two issues of Thrillbent from the looks of it. Uh, and it, it'll probably grow... Who knows? Hell, maybe we'll announce something cool about it in the future. In the future. 
Well, let's keep an eye on the real bed. <laughs> we will, because it's awesome to say that out loud, isn't it? Yeah. Thrill what, bed. Thrill bed? I'm shot. I'm shot. Thrill bed. <laughs> now we did it. Thrill bed. Did we just turn it into an 80s cop show? Uh, no, better. Uh, a 60s spy show. Yes. Crap, now I don't have a name for the DJ Caruso and Nick Spencer show we're, we're spinning off. Nah, fuck them. Robert Culp is thrill bent. Yes. Uh, this is going to be fun. So, hey, Manos, you know that Agent Coulson guy? Yeah, he's fun. He is fun. He's also in Marvel Comics now, along with the oh. Black Nick Fury. Wait. Huh? Is uh, this uh is this ultimate? No, this is main continuity. Oh. Uh... Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. Now up front, tell me. Do you think that's like the Nick Fury we've had for decades? He doesn't look like that Nick Fury. Well, that's because and to be fair, I'm somewhat blanking on this. He is a different Nick Fury. Uh Nick Fury isn't a superhero name. It's his actual name. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm going to try to look it up to refresh myself, but uh, in the issues of a series called Battle Scars, which, to be fair, I well, if anyone's confused, so am I. I forgot it existed. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember announcing it, and nothing else happened from that. <laughs> it's just it, pretty much the stuff that's like the aftermath of Fear Itself, like the Fearless, no one talked about. And this happened because we have a new Nick Fury and Agent Coulson in the main continuity now. I want to talk on Agent Coulson because knowing what we know what happened to him in Avengers. And and, and mind you, this was like, I think a week or two before Avengers came out in the States. So when they first said this, I simply said, okay, that's just pointless. He's a fine character and all, but why? We don't need him in main comics. He also looks like Daredevil. Kind of. Uh, I mean, he looks a little too cool, actually. <laughs> looks like he, just he? Smoked, like he looks like he smoked cigarettes off panel every chance he gets, because you can't smoke in Marvel. It's like, you know, part of the appeal of Agent Coulson was that... Uh, you know, he wasn't a badass-looking guy. He looked like an agent. I mean, you know... You know, he had an average build. He was balding. He, he looked normal. You know, I don't want a badass-looking Agent Coulson. I just want the guy who looks like he walked off of a sitcom, which the actor did before he got the role. Yeah. I and still want to understand why we have a... Uh, why is the ultimate Samuel Jackson Nick Fury in the Marvel Universe? Where I, 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 don't, I need that explained to me. Well... I'm just, okay. Do you know, do you know, and you're just not explaining it to me? I'm trying to, like, I remember reading up about it, like, two weeks ago when we were going to try and do the show, but I had no news, and it's slipping from me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to read it right now. Okay, so, this new Nick Fury is the real Nick Fury's son. Oh. Uh, his real name is, well, the name he goes by is Marcus Johnson. And in Battle Scars, he was serving in the Middle East. And, and he uh, lost his eye just like Dad? Yeah. Uh. And, and, grew, and grew the Samuel Jackson beard and took Steve Rogers' Captain Steve costume. That all I believe. That's fine. <laughs> just the fact that he lost the eye, too? And it's the same eye, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, there's a picture, uh, and I'll show it in the video, of him, like, before he shaved his head, of him holding a gun and a knife and blood coming out of where his eye used to be. That's a cover to one of the issues of Battle Scars. And... <laughs> I'm looking at this news article, and uh, one of the commenters wrote, Marvel knows that eye patches aren't hereditary conditions, right? <laughs> it's a boy, and he has a eye patch grafted to his skin. <laughs> it's like the it's like the gas mask people from Doctor Who. It's creepy. I don't you know 
I, I'm fine with Nick Fury having like a like a black son who looks just like the Nick Fury from the movies and Ultimate, like Samuel Jackson. I'm fine with that, obviously. Oh, uh, but the fact that he also has the eye patch is, just is a little. That's a little push again. There's just certain things in comics we'll we'll give leave to. This isn't it's, one of them. It's like that comedy bit where somebody like points to a a a a. a, a, a a, a painting of an old ancestor and they look just like them. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Yeah, oh man. Have a we, little originality. We could talk about how, oh, Marvel's obviously sculpting their comics, so because they, they're still convinced people leave theaters and go to comic shops after the movie, which they fucking don't. Uh, and, and this is just that. We could talk about that, but at the end of the day, it's been rumored for years that they were just going to flat out retcon it and make him Sam Jackson, the original Nick Theory, and just go with it. At least they're allowing the original Nick Theory to exist still. Yeah, they're not replacing him or, like, having him get in a new body. <laughs> which they could have even done that, which would have been goofy, but it's comics. Yeah, although, hey, it's been done by, you know, Luth, uh, Lex Luthor, like, uh, had an older body, like, in the beginning of uh, uh, the first DC reboot. <laughs> One uh, of uh, them. <laughs> Post-crisis, he was older, mm -hmm. and then he supposedly got killed off, and then his son came back, and then it was found out that uh, it wasn't his son, it was him. He just had his brain put in a clone body of himself, and he was younger. Oh, uh, so, you know, and, and I think this Red Skull, like, uh, did that, too. Like, he got a, he, he got one of those good deals where you can put your brain in a clone body. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I mean, that I would buy that, too. Uh, I mean, th that's the thing. I would believe that more <laughs> than Nick's fury son also needing an eye patch. <laughs> I, I would buy I that first. That. <laughs> I can totally see that. And again with Coulson, it, it was, and also it annoyed me when they, because he's in ulti, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. Oh, he is? Yes, and he's posing. Which nobody likes. Well, we'll kind of get to that later when we cover a story. But, um, so it was cool that, leave him in the movies. It's, it, it's this cool thing. He was a good character in those movies. He, because, you know, we obviously can't afford to have Sam Jackson in too much in every movie. So let's, yeah. we'll, we'll get Clark Gregg. He, he can carry, you know, the scenes he needs to carry, and he's fun. He works with everyone real well. And I, I loved him in Avengers like I did everything else. But knowing we know what happens to him in Avengers, this makes less sense now. I don't know. It's fine. I, I, I don't mind that as much. We're not going to care. He's not going to be useful in the main universe. I don't, I don't know. I mean, oh. who knows? Really. Um, you know, I am still waiting for uh, the reporter Jack McGee from The Hulk to show up in the comics. Marvel may have heard your far cry. No, they did not. <laughs> they... I want Jack McGee, Marvel Comics. The Manos demands it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh. Well, all right. So. Take it. Who's up for some chicken? I am. I'm going to go. Go and Oh, wait a minute. All right. Hey, Robot Chicken to Lampoon DC Comics in new special. It was only a matter of time before Seth Green and Matt Sirax, uh Robot Chicken produced an all-comics episode of the award-winning, really? The award-winning stop-motion oh, yeah, animation. This, this show gets nominated for Emmys all the time. I... Yeah. Um, according you, to Deadline, do you not like Robot Chicken Manos? It's kind. I liked it in the first few seasons, and now I kind of don't. <laughs> I when I get the chance to watch it, I it's still pretty good to me, but I don't get to watch it too much. It's like that guy at the party that you start talking with and seems cool, and then he won't leave you alone. Hey, you leave me out of. I mean, what? It's like. It's like, oh, man, you were funny for a minute, but now it's like... But uh, 
I don't know. It's just, yeah, whatever. But, uh, hey, the cast includes Seth Green and Paul Rubens and Neil Patrick Harris and Alfred Molina. Megan Fox and Brecken Meyer. And Pretty much anyone who hasn't Elliot. been on Robot Chicken yet. <laughs> yeah. You get, you get to hear them do. Yeah, you get to hear them do fart sounds. Is that all that loses you? Is that they're relying on fart sounds? <laughs> you're 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 suggesting that there are other jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that our arm at us, but we're not going to have that deep philosophical uh-huh, discussion no. because I don't want to. <laughs> But anyway, blah, are you blah, blah, going to give this a shot? Nah. nah. Yeah. Okay. What, I, I, are, I, oh, were, you, were you asking me? Yes, you. Fuck no, I'm not going to watch it. Okay, fine. <laughs> we don't need you, man. Those the cool people. Who cares? <laughs> oh, yeah, the cool people from 2003. Those people are still cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I understand it. I have tried showing it to people, and they couldn't even get past it. Like the first few ones, I. It's one of those shows where it's just show them clips, good clips, and that's all you'll really need. Mm-hmm. It's, it's one of those. Yeah. Well, I mean, you and yeah, enjoy it. Have fun. You're gonna go and drink tea and be all sophisticated while I enjoy Seth Green yelling. Well, I was going to drink tea and, uh, I don't know, do something else that's not sophisticated. <laughs> I was going to come up with something hilarious, but I didn't have a good example. Of <laughs> yes, currently, uh, Wacky Fun Time with Duke and Manos is on a hiatus because we can't think of any shenanigans. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Earth Mightiest Heroes. Yeah, I love that show. Oh, Manos, I'm going to have to take you down and talk later. Okay, so Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which I have seen some of, it is great, and it, it, it gets a lot of fan praise. It was, of course, canceled, like all good shows are now. Mm-hmm. And it's safe to say fans didn't exactly react too well to it. A lot of uh, yelling and more yelling. Is it uh, because of ratings, or are they just done with the episodes? Not in... Here's the thing. They announced they're canceling it and replacing it with a new show next year. One that's more in line with everyone's favorite new show, Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, oh, oh, oops. Basically... Maybe, maybe Disney, you should have, like, held off and waited to see how people would react to Ultimate Spider-Man. I don't know how I don't know how that did in the ratings. It, um, I I don't know. Well, Spider Man show, I'm sure it did well. Yeah, that's probably all they need to justify it. Um, but no one likes it. I have not heard one person like it. I know Jeff Even Loeb. Who, Jeff Loeb, who's in control of it, loves it. Oh um, well, of course he does. And he was the speaker who was like, because the week before they announced it was canceled, because rumors were starting to kind of swell up. Yeah. He was going on the line of, oh, it's a quality show. I love it, but we're, 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 we're having fun making Ultimate Spider-Man, the messiah of cartoons. And um, we're... And, and, the false god of cartoons! <laughs> he is not a god! <laughs> you heathens! Yeah. He is the golden calf of cartoons. Ah, uh, but... <sighs> Yeah, this... No one's happy about this. I'm not even happy about it. I'm not a giant fan of Earth Mightiest Heroes because I don't get a chance to watch the channel that much, uh, Disney XD. Yeah. So, wait, wait. This is going to be connected to the... This is going to be sort of a spinoff of the Ultimate uh, Spider-Man cartoon? The replacement one, yeah. Oh, God. That's terrible. I I know. And and the thing I'm hearing more complaints about is the fact that it has nothing to do with Ultimate Spider-Man, the comic series. (laughs) Uh, I know, I know. That's what's so weird about it. It's like, you know, it's kind of like designed to seem like the Ultimate Spider-Man comic series, but it's like the stupid-ass version of it. That's, it's just, because all I've been hearing about is they think they're making a sitcom. <laughs> yeah, or or they're doing, they're doing the exaggerated anime jokey things, you know, like they did in Teen Titans. But it's like, you know what, don't always do that. Teen Titans was able to get away with it because no one had done that before. Now, 
They had done it before. So and the thing don't is, do it. And the thing is with, with um and I'm I'm gonna try and make sense out of this and I might fail, but uh the thing when Ultimate Spider Man try because I've seen the first two episodes. Yes. It seemed like the thing is when when Teen Titans would do this ultra jokey thing, it they were like kind of acting like an anime. Here I stick with they think they're in community. No, 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 worse. They think they're in Scrubs. Oh. Not, not that Scrubs is bad, but my, my, I'm going to try to make a point. They think okay. they're in Scrubs, and they think they're writing JD with superpowers. <laughs> That's what I kind of took away. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, and you don't even have Dr. Cox yelling at anyone, so you failed on intentional ripoff of Scrubs. Yeah. And, and that guy needs work. Someone give him a job. We don't approve of you much. <laughs> we don't approve of you much in these parts right here. Yeah. <sighs> Let me get my spittoon. Uh... uh yeah, that's about it. We we could get angrier, but I wasted all my anger on Blu-ray. It's actually more, I don't know, exhausted from stupid. I know. It's... And anger. All right. Hey. I, th I will say this. I thought we were done with this with these stupid decision-making things with Spectacular Spider-Man, but we were wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have some bad news for you, Duke. Stupid never ends. Good point. Hey, that's how YouTube still sustains. <laughs> that was a cheap joke but i will i'm proud of it leave me alone all right hey who wants to kick ass that depends are we going to jeff Loeb's house oh you know it but anyway uh universal and talks to release kick ass 2 with jeff wadlow set to direct do you know who that is oh uh, he sounds like he has a Jeff Wadlow, it sounds like he has a, uh, a small sperm count. <laughs> I want to see that on the poster. The real Manos! The director sounds like he has a small sperm count. <laughs> um, yeah, good for you people. I have been vocal about the fact that I could care less about Kick-Ass. <laughs> oh, really? I really like the Kick-Ass movie. I'm just not... I, I wasn't into the comic... The movie uh, is a good I, adaptation of the comic. I'll give it that. But the thing is, I don't like the source material to begin with. Well, that's it. Well, here's here's the thing. I never read the comic, eh. uh, and uh, I, I did enjoy the film a lot. I don't know. It, it, my problem with the comic is it stems from it's Millar at his worst when he thinks he's like being insanely clever, but in reality he's just writing assholes. I, I, thought was, I thought that was Nemesis. No, that Nemesis is even more extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, but Kick-Ass is like a slightly, t somehow slightly toned down version of that, if that makes sense. I I, I, I like Mark Millar. He's done great things. Superman Red Sun, Old Man Logan, Marvel 1985. I don't hold Kick-Ass in the same regard as that stuff. <laughs> because the thing is with that, there's two, I realize there's two modes with him. Him trying to be crazy him trying to make a love letter to comics. Mm -hmm. The three things I mentioned are love letters to the respective properties. All the other stuff, and, and Ultimates, I, I do like Ultimates for the most part, both of them. Yeah. And that's kind of him being clever and working, but he wasted all of his clever on that stuff. <laughs> After that, he started making Nemesis and Superior, and I think he has like three... Uh, books out now besides Kick-Ass 2. Yeah. But again, I didn't care enough to even mention it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I never... W well, first off, you know, I, I don't like... I don't care much for the Ultimate uh, Universe. I, I don't count it, and I don't really find it very interesting. Ultimates is uh, the only thing I've seen besides uh, the Clone Saga uh, story from Ultimate Spidey. Yeah. And, uh... I, I don't know. I just really don't like you know, the Avengers as assholes. I just don't, I, I, I don't, I don't want to see that. So I know, I never, and I understand that when people have that problem. Yeah. I don't like my Captain America to be a dick. I will admit you know? that's, that's one of the things that does, that took me out when I started reading it 
but I'm more lenient to give different interpretations a try. Mm -hmm. For example, um, we all know how much you love the fact that Earth 2 exists. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so Which wonderful. I read, and I'm not saying this to piss you off. I loved it. Well, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> but someone wanted me to say that to you, thinking you would oh, punch uh -huh. me. And I know you enough to where you won't. You don't care to, at all. Well, I can't hit you from Virginia. You're just going to launch that cannon. Don't, don't you remember the way we ship things to each other? I'm going to put... I'm going to put that turkey in the cannon and shoot it at you. Fire in the hole! That's what I do with frozen turkeys. That's a sophisticated, well-thought-out thing to do with frozen turkey. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't eat them, you shoot them. Exactly. But, uh, Comic news teaching you great life lessons. Yeah. Cause I don't, it's like, why, why reboot and fuck up everything in your universe, and then, like, three seconds later, come up with a second fucked-up universe? And then... Kind of go for broke and tie in the only thing people care about your universe with the main universe. I, I, I don't understand. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. And you know what? Crisis happened because we wanted to get rid of Earth 2. <laughs> Why do we want Earth 2 back? I don't know. It's just like were fans really clamoring for Earth 2? They were clamoring for the Justice Society and we got that. Well, we didn't want them like this. True, I will give you that. I actually liked I I liked the um, the post crisis uh, interpretation that they were like the golden age heroes and DC will still never put that out in trade and I want to read that desperately I know um, I don't know I just thought that was I don't know is whatever you know I, I don't even... I I've been trying to pick up on Jeff Johns's second run on Just Society and it's great. Yeah. If I had a choice, I would want the old stuff back, but who knows? We might be getting that back in, in a couple of years, knowing how fucking well put together the reboot is. Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, sewn together with... Uh, <laughs> with um, love and everything. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, love. Oh, every page of every these all these comics are just... Oh, Catwoman's just full of love. Tough you love. You can just tell. Catwoman's full um, so, yeah, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not e even interested in Earth 2, um, and I, well, I'm down to, actually, I, I think I told you this, I'm down to two DC books. What's two? Oh, you gave up on Batwoman, didn't you? Oh, fuck, a three bat. A three. <laughs> you keep forgetting that exists, don't you? I do, I do, because it's so been so I. terrible. Like, so do I. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, Batman, Batwoman, and uh, Eye of Vampire. And uh, I just gave up on action. And uh, good call. I gave up on action a long time ago. Yeah, that first story arc was pretty good, barring the two issue side story, whatever the fuck that was about. That's what lost me. And yeah. I tried giving that um, uh, the latest issue a try. It was. Was that the Superman president of Earth twenty three? Yeah. See, that's that. It actually was okay, was... but I'm just like. Ah. That was the last straw for me because I was like, okay, you know, if Superman's going to be like, you know, the the, the first story arc, uh, you know, I would love love it. And then he did that weird side trip. It's like, oh. And then we went back to the regular story. It's like, okay, great, okay. And then this new issue does it. It's like, you know what? Forget it. I, I don't. I'm not. I know. I I'm um, sure it's all that up to something awesome because it's Grant Morrison. But no, I'm just not. In it, I have all stuff yeah, too. Over it. Uh, and I guess I do buy. Uh, I don't know. I guess I do buy Batman Beyond Unlimited, super cool, fantastic tri <laughs> triumph, uh, whatever that book is called. Uh, but I only buy it for Noam Brayfogle. And actually, which no offense is kind of a goofy reason because you're spending a good chunk of money for only one thing on that book now. Yeah, and I only read that one thing. I I, I have noticed that. I still have not picked up the newest one with Superman. Yeah, I mean, uh, I picked up the. It had a Justice League Unlimited. It had a Superman Unlimited. I didn't read either one of them. I just read the five-page Batman story. It's understood. It's understood. And it was fun, and I liked it, and that was it. <laughs> it was fun. I liked it. That was it. Manos on only five issues of this book. Yeah, I know. If they fire Bray Fogle, if he goes to do something else, that's it. That's my last issue. If he takes a break, I won't buy it. He'll forget about it. Like, what do you mean he's back? Like, even even if it's part three of a five-part story, mm -hmm. 
I won't buy it. Un un understood, understood. Right. <laughs> that is my rule. It's like, no one brave football has to do it for me to buy it, and that's it. That's the end. Although DC, I do like DC is going to break your rules somehow. <laughs> They're not going to follow your rules. You follow their rules. You know? well, it's, well, their rules are so hard to follow. It's... Because they didn't write them down. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't know. That's why I find their books so frustrating these days. It's like, I don't know what is going on. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Hey, have fun with your Earth 2. I will, because I didn't have fun with Dial H. That book was fucking weird. Yeah. But, uh... The dial is now just a payphone. Okay. Oh, it's a payphone? It's not a dial? Yeah, and... Isn't that hard to carry around? The I That's the thing. The idea apparently is... Just random people are going to walk. This thing will just appear and entice people to walk into it and create a goofy superhero and save the day. No. Like, the dial has a mind of its own. Actually, I think it kind of did back it in the did. day. It I, did. I understand that, but it's still, like, God, this was strange. I don't know. I was expecting, like, a mature version of Ben 10, I guess. I guess so. That and I got sense. weird, fucked up mind trip. Comic. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, you, you know, things are a little lost. When I read four comics, one of them was Smallville season eleven issue Ooh. one, the Mega Oh God Why, and actually said this was okay. When your comic manages to c make me feel worse about it than Smallville, you've lost. Yeah. And the only reason why I wasn't upset with reading that one issue in the store was it was just a regular Superman comic. It wasn't people being conveniently knocked unconscious and running away from each other angry <laughs> in whatever Captain Logan's counting. Uh, what a it, terrible series. It, yeah, it was just a somewhat straightforward Superman story. Uh, That's why it was actually decent. All right, you want to talk about the last um, uh, story? I will, but one. And now the final story for the evening. Yes, hello. Uh, <laughs> hey, by the way, I did not expect to be bitching about as much uh, stuff today. <laughs> it's one. Of, uh, we tend to have a more bitchy show every couple of months, I guess. I guess so. We didn't even really talk about the. <laughs> Uh, Kick-Ass 2, did we? <laughs> I don't have much to we say. Kind of got, off, kind of got off on a tangent, didn't we? I didn't have anything to say. Uh, neither did I. Uh, I guess it'll be fun. Uh, I like the first movie. Hey, it's there. I wasn't bitching about that. <laughs> We're all happy and positive. Hey, yeah. Manos, you want to talk about Flashpoint? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to tell you all Manos's love felt tweet about the story we're covering on Twitter uh, last week. No! And then I posted the link to the story. Yes, that's actually how I first found out about it. <laughs> Thank you, you. Um, and uh, so, let me kind of clear up something. Now, there's a rumor. Nothing confirmed yet. Kevin Conroy was just kind of talking offhand on Comic Book Club. Uh, a few weeks back about how there might be a possibility that um, Flashpoint's going to be a, D a direct-to-DVD animated movie. Manos obviously isn't pleased about it, as we pointed out. No, no, I'm not. I'd, I, think I... I'd rather, I'd ra I think I'd rather see a few hundred stories adapted before Flashpoint. And you know what? I'm in that same boat, but not for the reasons um, you are. That's because I hate the story of Flashpoint. Yes. I liked it, but my only issue is it's just A, too new, and B, too different from... Just, it, I think it would alienate people way too much. <laughs> yeah. Just up front. Like, hey, yes. it's the first Flash-centric animated movie. And it's just bonkers, out-of-continuity mind trip that's it this is just an odd thing to kind of no i don't think people are going to easily because i know people who are still kind of caught off guard for new frontier mm -hmm. they didn't understand it was a completely different setting a, a different world 
entirely from the one they might have been used to seeing in the cartoon. So up front, like, I liked it. Not as an event book, it should have just been an arc and flash. But yeah, it's just too out there insane <laughs> to 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 be made. I think it story wise, I think it's a okay thing if we waited like a few years not not even a few a a little longer because there are a bunch of classic stories that deserve this treatment beyond flashpoint do you think this would be considered a classic story though no it's it or do you think i don't think because it got washed out with the event stuff and i think it's just going to be a it'll probably be like bookmarked a little in the history of dc or do you think it's going to be like an event like um uh millennium Remember, do you remember Millennium? No, I don't, because I wasn't in the comics, or I, when was was this? It was the 80s. Yeah, I wasn't born. Uh, Still a twinkle in my father's eye, man. I I don't think, uh, I don't know, I mean, yeah, nobody even remembers Millennium, and it was like a big deal. Yeah, I'm with the idea that it's probably going to be like Millennium. I I was reading comics at the time, and I don't know what the fuck that was about. Yeah. (laughs) That's kind of what Flashpoint was. Mm-hmm. And I liked it, but again, just as a story, as in a major event, I'm still sticking with the theory that someone decided, we're going to make it an event because we need an excuse to reboot things. Mm. Oh, my God. Um, not, hey, they could have just upright said, hey, look, a button reboot. Now, let me ask you this. What, um, what, now, you know they have to cut in order to get it all into one film. I don't think they do, actually. Do you think it's short enough to actually Any, make no, it all? No, 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 Here's the thing. Um, it's kind of a... It's not like a giant, brim-packed story on its own. The only re- way it feels like an event is if you read tie-ins. Yeah. The, I, well, like, obviously, I, they, they obviously can't include the tie-ins. No, I'm kind of... Remember uh, Crisis on Two Earths? Yeah. How they just had all the different versions of characters in the background, just in the background? Yeah. I could just see most of the people being that and having it focus on Barry Allen and Thomas Wayne. Because that was, it was just them, the main feature. It was Barry Allen trying to figure out what was going on, and Thomas Wayne, Batman, was on the kooky ride. Yeah. And that's all you have to do, and that's what... If if they are going to do it, fine. Whatever. I think it's a risk because it's just, it's just too different. It's just too out there in relation to any of the other adaptations they've done. Mm-hmm. I still haven't seen Justice League Doom, if anyone's going to ask. It's okay. I've he- been hearing that. I'm... I, no matter if the movies are bad or not, which I've liked all the DC Direct movies in some way or another, I always buy the DVD. It's kind of like a ritual I've started because <laughs> technically those things got me in the comics. Oh, really? When I got Superman Doomsday, I decided to check out graphic novels, and if it wasn't for Doomsday, I wouldn't be doing this today. Interesting. Interesting. I did not know that about you. So there's a Flashpoint event out there where I didn't get Superman Doomsday and comic news never existed. <laughs> let's, let's just talk. Talk. <laughs> yeah you you became captain logan somehow it was weird <laughs> uh but um i uh, do you think joker mom will be in it no because joker mom didn't appear in the main series that's good that was str- and out of all the tie-ins you you might laugh at me at this i thought the batman one was the best I know everyone says that. Everyone says it's super because awesome. it was. It had nothing. Here's the thing: most of them had nothing to do with the main story. They were all in their own self-contained little minis. Yeah, Batman that's why was just stuff. a straight Batman story with a twist. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was really good. Yeah. So Joker you, Mom won't appear at all. Don't worry. You, so you liked the Joker Mom thing? It was an interesting idea. I'm not praising it. I know. But Logan, well, Logan and I have gotten in many. Okay, not many, but one. <laughs> That's many, I guess. <laughs> Discussion where we disagreed sharply on that. I thought and, it was a cool twist considering the, you know, because it was a twist that that was Thomas Wayne. I think it was the most retarded thing I've seen in Batman history. Did you read it? No, I'm talking about the concept. Okay. I, I, 
Well, man. It's a stupid idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I'll leave you to that. I think it was... There have been it's dumber. It's a dumb idea. There have like, been many dumber ideas. <laughs> why, out of all the characters, would she have become the Joker? I, I, I don't know. It's, it, in it's, there. it just strikes me as such a stupid idea. I'll admit the fact that she came to the conclusion and looked Joker-esque is a little on the... Might be too far to stretch to some people. To me, I accept a lot of bull crap. Yeah. I ex- even in bad things, I'll accept the stupid parts. This wasn't a stretch. I understood it, and I thought it worked the way Azrael told it. Mm. I, I think he should have had maybe another villain. If, if he wanted to do that. I don't know. I mean, okay. What about, what if she had become the ventriloquist? And she, and instead of Scarface, it would be like a... A, a tiny uh, version of Bruce. Yeah, a tiny child version of Bruce. You've made, you actually have a great point. I see your idea. Maybe I think that's even Joker's creepier. A little weird, but I think they just needed to say, well... Yeah, you know, Joker's popular. The dad's, the, da- the dad's Batman. Let's make Mom Joker. Like, I, I think that's just where their mind was. And Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know that's where their mind was. I mean, that's why I hate Parallel Universe shit. Hate it. I know you. I hate, know. hate, hate it. Ugh. That's like, I'm, you know, I'm... I Send don't know. your like, Parallel Universe stories to Manos, and he'll burn it for you. Oh, yeah, and then piss on it. <laughs> and then no. mail it back to you. You have to figure out what... It may not be your comic. It may be someone else's. Yeah. It's like, hmm, oh, this smells like tuna fish. Yeah, asparagus, that's weird. What did Manos eat? <laughs> It'll be uh, a new contest. Send me your... <laughs> send me your parallel universe They have your stories. show box. Yeah, I'll piss on it and <laughs> mail it back to you, and you have to guess what I ate that day. Every once in a while, I get people asking if I ever going to consider doing some sort of contest. Mm-hmm. If we make that our first one, I, I don't. Hey, if you start seeing things in your in your PO box, not my fault. Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't really do that. I'm not going <laughs> to. Someone's going to do. So, so I'm, well, I'll I, just oh, throw it away. I'll throw it away right there in the mail room if you. Send you could it. just get, you could just send it to Captain Logan. You know what? Don't send it to Mano. Send it to the comic book vault. Yes, do that. <laughs> where, where you'll know someone will at least be open-minded enough to give it a shot. Oh, my God. Uh, I got this great parallel universe idea where where um, Bruce Wayne's third uncle <laughs> becomes Barbara Gordon. <laughs> and he's like a robot. And he's, he, he's dressed in, like, rainbow colors because he's really from Zarinthra. Yeah, see? That's cool. <laughs> I don't know. You got me again. <laughs> That's basically what all these parallel universe stories are to me. Yes, yes, yes. So, like I'm happy you guys got stoned in the office and came up with some random shit. Hey, it's better than producing shit where they knew what they were. They thought they knew what they were doing. Oh, that's even worse. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... Gonna... ultimatum! Yeah. Oh, ugh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I don't know. This is still a rumor, right? It's not even in the real production stages, is it? It's, as far as I know, yeah. Oh, uh, well... And again, you don't have to. You could just ignore it, Manos. Oh, I will. And then, you know, the day you finally meet me, I'll tr- lock you in a room and force you to watch it, and it'll be great, and we'll never do the show again. Yeah, I'll... That'll make... be the moment that ends our friendship. <laughs> it will, because I will make fun of every moment. <laughs> no, the... to be fair, I even with movies... Don't lock up... a Misty... Don't lock a Misty up with I a know. shitty movie. I know. <laughs> Good point. It's... I'm, I'm better off giving... You will regret it. I dare you to do it. <laughs> Now I have to. No, no, no. I say bring it on. Here's the thing. Even with movies I love, I love it when... I, I do that with great movies. I did that with a Dark Knight once. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't like to do it too much with movies I really like. Um, I do I, it once in a while if, like, we have nothing better to do. I watched um, this movie called Enter the Ninja uh, from, like, the late 70s. And... Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, you, I don't know if it's on YouTube or not, but I mean, I think you'd really like it. It's about this uh, white ninja guy uh, who trained in Japan. Uh, he, I guess he's former, like, uh, I guess he's, you know, Vietnam vet or something like that. And he has this big bushy mustache. You had and, him. Hello. Yeah, and then he uh, decides to help his friend who has this farm in, oh, I forgot what country they're in. Uh, but uh, anyway, this this uh, this friend of his has a farm and he has a hot wife and they <laughs> buddies in Vietnam. And... They're trying. This big evil corporation is trying to push them out. So they're, you know, threatening them and stuff like that. And then uh, the ninja shows up and tries to help and just escalates. And it's kind of a silly late '70s movie in some respects. And I, even though I kind of enjoyed it, I still made fun of it a lot. Oh, um, it's it's you. I think you'd like it. It's Enter the Ninja. I mean, that sounds awesome. <laughs> she was you said a, a white guy who's a ninja. I flash back to Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> no, Beverly Hills Ninja. Ninja, yeah, yeah. Because I'm a giant Chris Farley fan. And even in bad movies, he's awesome. Yeah, well, this guy's cooler than Chris Farley because he's like... He can kick a, things. He can kick things up high, and he has a mustache. You you win this... You yet again win our endless battle... Manos, whatever the hell we were fighting for. I think last I, time I checked, we were fighting for Thin Mints. I, I didn't know we were fighting. Oh, Thin Mints, fuck yeah, I'll kill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so that was comic news, and how else, <laughs> what else would it be? Um, Let's end it on that note. Yes, yes, yes. So, you can check this show out on on uh, Podomatic as a podcast and on iTunes, either search Comic News, Duke Manos, or JMC. Also, check out the latest JMC chat. It was one of the f- more fun chats that me and the guys have had in a long time. Uh, b- do all that. Be nice. Check us both out on Twitter and Tumblr, where we talk about current events, uh, make funny jokes, other important shit, maybe, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I what, what, what do I use Twitter for now? Not much. How much? I I'll keep saying I'm going to do things, and I never do them. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you were saying? I, I just agreed with you, yes. Yes. Uh, Manos, take your stuff. Yeah, hey, I publish uh, a comic book called Red Knight, and the first three issues are out. Uh, I do my best with the what the Lord gave me to give you a great comic book. And uh, the art's by J.C. Grande. The first three issues are out. They're three bucks a piece. They're nine bucks for all uh, three. The information at the bottom is to uh, order. You can send me a check or money order, not contest entries. <laughs> 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 or you can uh, buy it on uh, Use PayPal. This is your payment. I totally got you this awesome uh, Superman Elseworld story. If you send me that, I will not send you a comic. <laughs> He'll just send you an angry photo. I will not. It'll be an. It'll be an. It'll be a picture of me shaking my fist. <laughs> hey, when, as long as you sign it, I don't think they'd care. I don't know. But anyway, but, but anyway, you can buy it on PayPal too. But uh, also, you can check out me on Tumblr as well, where I will be doing some uh, updates here and there about uh, Red Knight as far as what's coming up. Issue four is coming out in July, July fourth, with uh, the. With the contest cover winner, James Harmon doing the uh, the cover and uh, the interior art by J.C. Grande. And you can order that after you religiously watch Independence Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to get you in the mood, because Red Knight has absolutely everything to do with Independence Day. They're practic- It's practically a ripoff. <laughs> practically. You just need to read in between the lines. Uh, <laughs> you know what the name of the villain is in the next issue of Red Knight? What? Death Ray Dick. <laughs> of course, he's a very important character in Independence Day. He's going to be an incredible character. <laughs> Death Ray Dick. <laughs> by the way, I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. <laughs> I, I know. I think, I think you told me this. And by the way, that is now my new favorite character of all time. <laughs> I thought nothing would ever beat out Radiation Roy. No, this one. Yeah. Uh, and it's, yeah. Uh, his, he's got a sidekick who... Uh, 
uh, well, Death Ray Dick has a, a laser beam eye, just like uh, Cyclops, except it's just one eye. And um, his sidekick is one of those guys who, like, can create sonic booms, you know, like the Hulk does when he claps his hands. Mm-hmm. Except that's all he can do. That's his only power. Sweet. And uh, what's that? Sweet. Yeah. His name is Handquake. Why are you people not ordering this if you aren't already? <laughs> I am. You need to join in this amazing quest for greatness. That's right. Yes, and uh, though I'm just randomly doing this, be sure to check out the season finale of Who Reviews the Reviewers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah exciting conclusion. Somebody won. Yes. It, it was Shades at Night, right? Uh, yeah, I, yes. <laughs> yes, I loved him. I'll be he honest, was... I don't even remember. <laughs> I was I was so tempted to just make that comment in the co- in the comment section, but I didn't. Want to. <laughs> I was I I was drunk. I have no idea. It could have been nostalgia critic for all. <laughs> Roger Ebert won. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure he could give a victory speech if he could. <laughs> no, 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 no. But in all honesty, uh, it was great. Uh, congrats to the winner of it as Xy Blues. I know he watches this show. Uh, I hope you do something great with that. Or at least keep commenting on all the crap I do. Because I think he's one of the few people who comments on everything. Because he's awesome, that's why. Damn right he's awesome. And, uh, and, I, you know what's weird? Someone asked me if I was going to audition for the second season. And well, I... Are you? No, because I have too many subscribers. And, uh, I was, and before we end, I was going to do a bit of a prank. Okay. Just for fun, I was, uh, now, uh, I, I told Cap this. I don't think I've told you this. I was going to do a fake audition entry. Oh, you totally should. <laughs> at, at, as Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going, I was going to do it like a review of Ghost Dad as Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. But then I, I, I realized two key things. One, I cannot do that voice for over a minute and have it sound good. Oh. You don't... And, and two, only you and Cap would vaguely get the joke. I'm sure someone else will. Oh, you know what? You shouldn't talk about Ghost Dad. You should talk about something else. Like Leonard um, Part 6? That was that was on the No, no, it. something non-Bill Cosby related. Well, you see, we're going to talk oh. about True Grit. Oh, 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 I know it would be great. Uh, the X-Men character Cable in his history. Well, you see, me and <laughs> Rob... We got together with the pudding and Theo, and we gave a character with a gun the size of a school bus for children. Oh, uh, and uh, Cyclops went to fiddly diddly with uh, this Jean Grey clone, and they uh, they had the baby with the little baby, and uh, he had the mutant powers. <laughs> they were like, ah, 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 and then the baby formed. <laughs> you should do like a 50 minute video like that <laughs> explaining i can't explain that stuff seriously what makes you think i can do that for that long bill cosby explains marvel continuity <laughs> bill cosby explains marvel wayne is the joker maybe maybe that should do maybe we should do that as a new series bill cosby explains comic book continuity Oh, okay. that would that would win the internet. <laughs> Sad part is, I'm really considering it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you people have just seen the you've seen the birth of cable, or I mean, the new idea. <laughs> uh, as always, I'd like to thank Manos for doing this with me, and I'd like to thank you for having me aboard. Yes, we will be here sometime in the future. To talk about the comics and the pudding pops and the zap, zip and the zap. Peace. Yeah.